Hello, I'm Graham Roberts. I'm just going to show you an illustration of the power of style sheets. Indeed, the power of cascading style sheets known as CSS and particular version 3. When it styles HTML hypertext markup language uh, version 5 um, basically. I'm going to use Amazon as an example which is a commercial website so I'm going to just put in here Amazon UK and um, hope they let me look at it. Yeah, they say look at this right okay I'm looking at that. I want to look at the books in Amazon UK okay as a shopper so now it's showing me the books uh, sort of I'm going to accept cookies which is another little thing uh, and, um, that uh, text files stored on my local hard disk to help the website track what I do and what I like in my web pages and that can affect well actually the style sheet uh, as well as um, other things but keep in mind styling here rather than structure right so okay I've got a collection here of books let's look at the children's books why not let's look at the children's books I'll oh, look at their cute children there two little girls studying I think a book well let's just look at these books right so let's look at um, well apparently the I'm going to go down and I'm going to have a look at all of them I hope they will give me a chance to look at all of them um, do you know what it just goes to show you I'm not so familiar with the children's books as I actually know how it's structured but what I want to do is I'm going to right click on uh, somewhere here right I'm going to right click say here and I'm going to ask to inspect right, I'm going to inspect it and what I see uh, jumps up on the uh, screen is the underlying structure of the page let's get that right now the underlying structure of the page is shown here with the div the dividers and this is HTML and um, but that's not what we're looking at remember we're looking at styles so let's explore and see what we can do because uh, I'm looking at styles uh, and here they are I've, there's a tab here I'm going to look at styles this is structure this is HTML fascinating as that is that's not my target so I want to look at I just get this sort of uh, up I want to look at the styles and apparently the styles are very complicated as you might imagine in this enormously wealthy website um, but we've got a div here that has got uh, a display of black we've got a unicode uh, biddy of isolate what does that mean I don't actually know but that's not important what I want to know is what the body color is let's have a look at the body color the body color seems to be blank black now color here is perhaps a bit mm, misleading it's not the color of the background it's actually the color of the font and we can see the fonts are definitely black colors they're black ink so if we click on here we can see we can get different colors that uh, we can choose to change the color so can we change it to red well that doesn't seem to work but oh, oh, I know what I can do I can go in here and just say that I want the red color red or I could have other colors that have popped up there uh, in my help list I've changed it to red does anything change well you might have thought that everything would change to red but it hasn't and that's because the color has been overridden somewhere so that it is black where is it overridden actually we did have a clue a little while ago but I don't want to spend too much time on that um, let's have a look at um, the um, 
well here here you can see sorry you can see that the font size is 14 the override of the body um, specifier as it's called now if I change that to say I don't know 24 what happens um, let's see if anything is changed or well, it doesn't doesn't let me do that I think 24 is too large for some reason so let's try um, 20 Let's see if that works it doesn't so this is not allowing me to to effectively change the font size um, but here we could change the font size from 100% to 120% what happens if we change that so I'm just over typing it basically have we got any change? Well, we do have some changes taking place in the page. Um, and we can see that this color is red, which is this color here. Let's change that color to um, what were the other colors we had? Magenta, was it? Yeah, magenta is allowed. Um, let's change it to aquamarine there we go so we can change this font to aquamarine we could if we were to delve into this deeply change the colors of the font of uh, these what we've done here is we've actually changed the font size and so what has happened is that the structure of the page is not quite right anymore. <laughs> You've wrecked it. Well, this shows us that uh, changing styles, because they do cascade, is uh, not something you do uh, lightly. You have to be very um, careful, practiced. Uh, you have to use your experience and... Uh, very, very important, actually, uh, not do this sort of thing to a live website. Uh, <laughs> fortunately, this website is not actually live because it was. But because I've been working on this page, the server at Amazon doesn't know what I've done. It, it, this is my local copy and it actually is ignorant of what I've done uh, in wrecking its structure. And changing its colors uh, it's not often that Amazon will be ignorant I can tell you but in this particular case we are doing this in the privacy of our, our own home um, it doesn't know and the reason it doesn't care is because we can change all of this but well I say all of this we can change these things and uh, when we uh, do a refresh as I would do right now if you watch I'm going to reload this page that will change because it will make a request to the server and the server will send down the page again and everything I did, all the destruction that I wreaked has been undone. It is like Amazon is an omnipotent God that won't let us mess with his um, will. And whatever we do to undo his will, apparently uh, our evil is overcome in uh, due time by a refreshing reload. Um, anyway, make of that as you will. This uh, example was just to show the power of styling the CSS um style sheet and perhaps we should show where that style sheet is now there might be an easier way to find it uh, in fact we can see that this structure is HTML because it says doc type HTML here and what we should find somewhere in the head are style sheets that are being used but this is a really complex website uh, so it's not going to be as obvious as it would be in uh, model websites or example websites. 
that you would see in any kind of teaching program on the web. So here we can see, for example, this is a link tag and it's uh, talking about um, what it's going to uh, load in and link. So these are effectively uh, style sheets. They're going to change the style for the page. And you can see there's also programming in here, script, which is uh, variations on JavaScript. And we can see that because it is JavaScript. There are other kinds of programming embedded in to web pages that we don't actually see because they're on the server and what we get is the result of that programming so we don't actually see the code behind it but here we do see the code this is a loop for example i'm sorry i just clicked on it it disappeared but that was a loop okay so just to reiterate um, you can do this yourself have a play with the amazon website i just reiterate what we did uh, although you can of course look at this again but um, what I did was I called up Amazon I looked at a particular page I was looking at books and then uh, I went to anywhere on the page and I clicked right click on my mouse I'm using Windows operating system and uh, I clicked left clicked on inspect and up popped this information now, uh, another way to do this, I'll just get rid of that, is to um, look at what's called developer tools. And if you, on a Windows um, operating system keyboard, control shift and the insert key, then you'll also get something pop up in a similar way. Thank you.